Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Hawaiian chicken. So I have about 14 green onions because they're small. I'll cut them up. So now I'll dice them. I'll place them in my bowl. To the onions, I'll take about three garlic cloves, mince them, and I'll place them in my bowl as well. This Hawaiian chicken, I like to serve it over rice. It's really good. So now that I have my garlic minced, I'll place it in my bowl. Along with the garlic and the onion, I'll take two celery stalks and I'll dice that up. place it in my bowl. So now I have one can, which is 20 ounces of the pineapple slices. I took the juice that came in these pineapples and it's about three fourths of a cup. So I'll place that in my bowl as well. I'll take about five of the pineapple slices. And I'll just cut them into chunks. The store that I went to didn't have the chunky pineapple, so I picked up the slice. So I'll place that in my bowl as well. Now to the green onion, the garlic, the pineapple juice, and the pineapples. I'll also be adding in two tablespoons of ketchup. Here's one. Two. and two tablespoons of the soy sauce. There's one and two. Now I'll mix this all together. So 
I have four chicken breasts. And I'll pound them nice and flat. So with my four chicken breasts, I pounded this one down. I'll cut off any excess fat. salt and pepper that one side. I'm going to be placing my chicken breast in the sauce. Now I'll salt and pepper the other side. I'll let the chicken breast absorb some of that juice. That's what it looks like. So now I'll continue on to the other chicken breast. Pound it down nice and flat. Cut out any fat that you see. Salt and pepper the sides. You'll let the chicken breast marinate in the sauce for about an hour. I'll take another one. This one's got quite a bit of fat on it. Last chicken breast. So now that I have all my chicken breasts in the sauce, I'll marinate it for about an hour.
I'll place some saran wrap on top and put it in my fridge for an hour. So into the fridge it goes. I like to serve rice with my Hawaiian chicken, so I have two cups of water in my pot. I'm also going to take one and a third cup of pineapple juice and add this in as well. I'm making enough rice for six people, so I need three and a third cups of liquid. So there's three and a third cups of liquid in here. So there's three and a third cups of liquid in my pot. I'll take one and a half cups of rice. So there's one and a half. I have my burner on medium. While my chicken is marinating in the fridge and my rice is cooking on the stove, I'll take the rest of the pineapples. There's five pineapples that are left in my can, so I'll dice this up and place this in with my rice. So not only will there be pineapple on the chicken, there'll also be pineapple in the rice. I'm kind of glad the store didn't have the crushed pineapples because I can make this as big or as small as I want these chunks of pineapple to be. So now I'm going to place this in my pot. So into the pot it goes. This is going to be good. My chicken's been marinating for an hour in the fridge, so I took it out. I'll put my burner on medium. I'll lightly brown the chicken on both sides, and then I'll add the liquid that it's been marinating in, in my pan. really smells good. So now I'll flip my chicken over. If you'd like, you can add a little bit more salt little bit more pepper. So now that I lightly browned it on one side and I flipped it over and it'll be browning on the other side, I'm going to take the juices that the chicken was marinated in and place that in my uh, frying pan. I'll take my lid. I just have it off a little bit to let the steam out. I'll check on my rice. really smell that pineapple. I'll check on my chicken. I'll 
flip it over again. Put my lid back on. I wish you could smell it, it really smells good. Now I'll check on my rice. That's going to be some good looking rice. So now I'll check on my rice. Well, it's coming along good. give it a try. Doesn't that look good? It's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. This really tastes good. Can't wait for the chicken. So now that most of the water has reduced out of my rice, I mean you can see it's very little, I'm going to turn my burner off and just let the rice sit here. Ooh, chicken looks good. You want to make sure that your chicken is fully cooked. Mmm, it really smells good. A few more minutes. I'll check on my chicken again. It's hot. Oh yeah, this looks really good. It's been cooking for a half hour. Remember I browned it on both sides and it's been cooking in the juices here for a half hour. So I'll turn my burner off. I'll put a little rice on my plate. Doesn't that look good? my lid back on. Now I'll go take a piece of chicken. I'll take some of the juice and the pineapple, the onion and the garlic. Now doesn't that look good? I wish you could smell it. I could really smell that pineapple juice. It smells good. So now to give the rice and the chicken a taste. So I'll salt my rice a little bit more on the chicken. Put some pepper. I'll give it a try. So I got some of the rice. The pineapple. I get some of the pineapple, the celery, the garlic, the onion. With some rice. Mmm. This is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This Hawaiian chicken is really tasty. Deserves a second bite. Mmm, really, really good. Well, thanks so much for watching me make my Hawaiian chicken along with my rice. It's super good. Give this recipe a try. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.